He fled as president of Sri Lanka, but returned on Friday with nowhere to go. Gotabe Rajpaksa flew back nearly two months after he fled angry protesters who blamed him for pushing the country towards economic collapse. He resigned while he was abroad. Dozens of MPs from his governing SLPP party were at the airport to welcome him. Those involved in the protest that led to Rajapaksa's exit, like Manjula Samarasekara, say he has the right as a citizen to return, but... We strongly believe that he, uh, he, he is responsible for the crime, a crime, lot of crimes, as well as uh, regarding uh, putting up this country to the situation that we are in right now. So first, he, uh, there has to be a fast-tracked uh, investigation into uh, the issues that he has created and he has to uh, come uh, to the legal system. It, he has to face the legal system. The former president has moved into this government residence. Senior security sources have told Al Jazeera his wish to move back to his private residence in a Colombo suburb was denied because of security concerns. Rajapaksa became the target of a movement called the Gota Go campaign two years into his term. Protesters blamed him and his government for mismanagement, bad decisions and corruption that drove Sri Lanka to its worst economic crisis in memory. It's incumbent therefore upon the government to ensure that there is accountability in place with regard to Gota Abe Rajapaksa and apart from that he can live a normal life, I presume. Although, of course, you know, can he get about, can he be seen around in public is a question that he'll have to decide. Rajapaksa loyalists say it's too early to indicate what the former president will do now that he's back in the country. After nearly two months of trying to find a place to settle, the former president seems to have run out of options. Having swept to power with unprecedented popularity, Gotabe Rajapaksa has found out the hard way that being a wartime leader doesn't always guarantee success in peacetime. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.